In 2018, VRCA invested in a flow through of our channels to show a 3D visualization of all port waters. The flow through commences at Point Richards channel entrance and the outer anchorage. To the right of the screen, you'll see a color bar which breaks down the depth contours that you can see in the flow through data. Red indicates the shallowest depths, through to blue depicting the deepest depths. Anything in blue is deeper than 12.3 meters, the declared depth of the channel. There is a slight vertical exaggeration for effect. To the right, you can now see the outer spoil ground. Also to the right is Point Wilson Channel leading to the explosives pier. By now you've probably noticed the black cones sticking up on either side of the channel. These represent the location of navigational beacons that are used by vessels to establish the location of the channels. It takes a ship approximately two hours to traverse the full length of the channel. We are now approaching the turn, and this is also the end of Point Richards Channel. Now the beginning of Wilson Spit Channel. In front of us now, you will see shoaling on either side of the channel. This is known as Wilson Spit. We're approaching the end of Wilson Spit Channel and the start of Hopeton Channel. To the left, you will see Point Henry Channel to Point Henry Pier. We're now approaching a major shoaling on either side of the channel. This is known as the cut. To the right of our current location is the Eastern Anchorage, and on the horizon to the left, is Geelong City. To the left, Southern Anchorage. To the right, Western Anchorage. This is now City Bend. To the left is City Channel through to Cunningham Pier. To the left, Bulk Grain Piers at the beginning of Corio Channel, followed by the entrance to Corio Quay on the left. To the left, Lascelles Wharf. In 2017, VRCA invested in widening a section of the Corio Channel to continue to ensure the safety of navigation. The channel finishes at Refinery Pier.